Journey with us beyond the veil of our atmosphere as the James Webb Space Telescope pierces the cosmic obscurity, revealing wonders that have existed for eons. From vibrant nebulas to distant galaxies, prepare to be transported into the vastness of our universe. Let's unravel the celestial tales that await. Image number one, a detailed exploration of the enigmatic galaxy Centaurus. A when you gaze upon the night sky, sprinkled with countless stars, you might be overlooking a magnificent wonder, the galaxy named Centaurus A, also cataloged as NGC 5128. This is not just any ordinary galaxy, it's a trove of celestial mysteries waiting to be unraveled. Centaurus A is uniquely categorized as an elliptical galaxy in the grand tapestry of the universe. But what does that mean? An elliptical galaxy is somewhat like a vast cosmic swirl of stars, gas, and dust that's shaped more like a stretched out sphere rather than the flat spirals we often visualize when thinking of galaxies. The recent image captured by the Webb telescope presents a stunning deep dive into this intriguing galaxy. Imagine peering into the depths of Centaurus A for over 50 hours. That's the length of exposure the telescope used to get such a detailed snapshot. By doing so, we've achieved arguably the most comprehensive view of this celestial marvel till date. But what's truly spellbinding is its location. Centaurus A is situated a staggering 12 million light years away from us. To put that into perspective, if you were to travel at the speed of light, that's about 186,282 miles per second. It would take you 12 million years to get there. Now isn't that mind-boggling? Another captivating facet about Centaurus A is its AGN activity. AGN stands for Active Galactic Nucleus, which means this galaxy has a superactive center. Think of it as the bustling downtown of a city, but on a galactic scale. This active core is often characterized by intense light emissions, hinting at dynamic events occurring deep within. Nestled in the constellation of Centaurus, this galaxy is aptly named after its celestial home. But why is it considered peculiar? That's a question that astronomers and researchers are still seeking answers to. Could it be its unique shape, its active core, or perhaps some hidden treasures that are yet to be discovered? In the vastness of the universe, Centaurus A stands as a testament to the incredible complexities and wonders that lie beyond our planet. As technology advances and telescopes like Webb delve even deeper, who knows what secrets Centaurus A might reveal next? Image number two, diving into the mesmerizing world of NGC 4303. Have you ever found yourself lost in the beauty of a swirling pattern, whether it's in art or nature? Now, imagine that sense of wonder magnified a million times as you encounter NGC 4303, a majestic spiral galaxy. First things first, what exactly is a spiral galaxy? Picture a colossal disk made up of stars, gas, and dust, all spinning gracefully around a central core. The swirling arms of this disk give it its spiral name. And NGC 4303 is a prime example of this fascinating cosmic structure. Located in the constellation of Virgo, this galaxy isn't just around the corner. It's a staggering 55 million light years away. If you're wondering what a light year means, it's the distance light travels in one year. Just consider this. The light we see from NGC 4303 today actually started its journey 55 million years ago. So in a way, we're looking back in time. The image of NGC 4303 we have is not just a standard snapshot. It's a blend of data captured at both radio and visible wavelengths. Why is this significant? By merging these two types of data, astronomers gain clearer insights into the galaxy's inner workings. For instance, 
understanding how stars take birth within this vast cosmic dance. The union of radio and visible wavelengths can be thought of as wearing glasses with two different lenses. One lens, visible wavelength, lets you see the vibrant colors and brightness of the galaxy, while the other, radio wavelength, uncovers hidden details, such as gas movements, that the naked eye can't spot. And when combined, they provide a comprehensive view of the galaxy's life and behavior. So, what draws stars into existence within NGC 4303? What tales of cosmic drama and creation does it hold? As technology advances and our tools for peering into space become even more refined, the mysteries of galaxies like NGC 4303 may soon unfold before our eyes. And who knows, it might be more mesmerizing than anything we've yet imagined. Image number three, delving into the intriguing image of NGC 7252. Among the endless sea of galaxies, one stands out with a captivating tale and an evocative name, the Atoms for Peace Galaxy, otherwise known as NGC 7252. Let's embark on a journey to understand its narrative and the inspiration behind its poignant moniker. First, a quick lesson in naming, why Atoms for Peace? This wasn't just a fancy title plucked out of the blue. Its form is reminiscent of an atomic nucleus, with what appear to be orbiting electrons around it, much like illustrations you'd find in basic science textbooks. Delving deeper into history, the term atoms for peace carries weight from a political era gone by. In 1953, President Eisenhower delivered a speech under the same name, emphasizing the potential of nuclear power not as a weapon of destruction but as a beacon for global unity and peace. Now, does the galaxy's history mirror this peaceful sentiment? Quite the contrary. The story of NGC 7252 is one of cosmic upheaval. Although it evokes images of stability today, it was birthed from chaos. Roughly one year ago, gear stands for a billion years, for those of us not fluent in astronomical time, two smaller galaxies collided and merged in a grand cosmic dance this was no gentle waltz, but a full-blown tango with twists and turns culminating in the magnificent structure we now see. Positioned in the constellation Aquarius, NGC 7252 is situated an immense 220 million light-years from our home planet. For a bit of context, light traveling at an astonishing speed of about 186,282 miles every second would take 220 million years to reach us from there. Just think about it. The light we are seeing now is like a postcard from the distant past. While classified as an interacting galaxy type, this doesn't refer to it chit-chatting with its celestial neighbors. Instead, it signifies the physical interactions, like the dramatic merger that birthed it. So, with such a tumultuous history, what lies ahead for NGC 7252? As the universe continues its expansive dance, Will this galaxy find another partner to merge with? Or will it sail smoothly through the cosmic ocean, its past collision merely a chapter in its enduring story? Only time and the watchful eyes of astronomers will tell. Image number four, peering into the cradle of stars, the spiral galaxy, Messier 61. The universe is brimming with tales, and today we zoom into one particular story, the tale of a galaxy where stars are born at a remarkable rate. Enter the realm of Messier 61, also cataloged as NGC 4303. 
a spiral galaxy and one of the colossal members of the Virgo cluster. Have you ever pondered where stars come from? How do these luminous celestial objects ignite in the vast expanse of space? Well, Messier 61 offers an intriguing window into this cosmic wonder. Known as a starburst galaxy, it's like a bustling maternity ward for stars. Here, stars are born at a rate that is considered unusually high in the grand scheme of galactic events. Let's break down the spectacle of starbirth. Picture clouds of cold gas floating serenely in space. Over time, these clouds succumb to gravity, collapsing in on themselves. As this happens, newborn stars emerge, emitting intense radiation. This very radiation then warms and ionizes, adds or removes electrons to or from atoms, the surrounding gas. And this ionized gas, it doesn't stay silent. It glows brilliantly, heralding the birth of new stars. In the image of Messier 61, this radiance takes on a hue that can be likened to a golden whirlpool. It's not just a stunning visual spectacle, it's a direct testament to the ongoing stellar births within the galaxy. Positioned at a mind-bending distance of 50 million light-years away in the Virgo constellation, this galaxy serves as more than just a beautiful sight. For astronomers, it's akin to a cosmic research lab. They study Messier 61 to decode the intricate processes of star formation, hoping to unravel more secrets of our universe. So, when you next gaze upon an image of this shimmering galaxy, remember you're not just seeing distant lights. You're witnessing the intricate dance of creation, where cold gas clouds transform into glowing orbs of light. And who knows? With galaxies like Messier 61 as our guide, what other celestial wonders are waiting to be unveiled? Image number five, gazing upon the skies, unraveling the secrets of the large Magellanic cloud. Have you ever wondered about the mysteries of the vast universe? Just beyond our Milky Way, the Webb telescope presents us with a vivid snapshot of one such enigma, the large Magellanic cloud, often abbreviated as LMC. This celestial body is more than just an ordinary cluster of stars. It's one of the closest galaxies to our very own, the LMC isn't alone in its cosmic dance. It has a companion, the small Magellanic Cloud, and both of them flit through the constellation of Mensa. If the universe had neighborhoods, the LMC and its smaller counterpart would be our next door neighbors. But what sets the LMC apart? Its shape, for one. Unlike the neatly defined spirals or elliptical formations we often associate with galaxies, the LMC belongs to the irregular type, this means it doesn't follow a conventional pattern or structure. Imagine a painter flinging paint in spontaneous streaks on a canvas, and you might get a picture of how the LMC looks in our vast cosmic gallery. Now, with the advanced capabilities of the Webb Telescope, the details of this galaxy are clearer than ever. Think of the telescope as a magnifying glass that lets us delve deeper into the cosmos. Through its lens, a myriad of stars within the LMC come to light. This isn't just a visual treat. For astronomers, it's like opening a treasure chest. How so? Well, observing such a large number of stars at once offers insights into stellar evolution, allowing scientists to trace the life cycles of these luminous celestial beings. Additionally, by studying the movement and behavior of these stars, they can delve into the intricate dynamics of the galaxy. And then there are the variable stars, those that change in brightness over time. These stars are like the beating hearts of the galaxy, and their pulsations offer clues about their inner workings. In a nutshell, the LMC serves as a living textbook, a cosmic case study, if you will, for those eager to understand the universe a little better. So as you gaze upon its image, consider the grand tapestry of events it represents and the myriad mysteries it holds. What stories would it tell if it could speak? How many cosmic events have shaped its irregular form? And as our telescopic eyes get sharper, 
What other wonders of the LMC will we unveil? Only the unfolding chapters of astronomical exploration will tell. Image number six, journey into the chaotic beauty of NGC 1792. Have you ever gazed upon a scene that seemed a bit, well, messy, but in the most captivating way? That's the allure of NGC 1792, a spiral galaxy that dances about 50 million light years away from us in the Columba constellation. If galaxies could have personalities, NGC 1792 might be the wild, untamed artist of the cosmic realm. The canvas of NGC 1792 isn't filled with the smooth spiral patterns we might expect. Instead, it's a riot of activity, with dust scattered haphazardly throughout its disk. Imagine a painter, lost in the throes of creation, flinging specks of color with abandon. This might give you a hint of how NGC 1792 presents itself to us, but why the chaotic presentation? One reason is the galaxy's abundance of neutral hydrogen gas, Think of this gas as the raw clay in the hands of a sculptor, ready to be molded into new creations. For NGC 1792, it's the fuel that sparks the birth of countless new stars. And this galaxy isn't just leisurely crafting these stars. It's doing so at a brisk pace, like a potter fervently shaping clay on a wheel. There's another intriguing facet to this galaxy. It emits an unusually bright far-infrared radiation now, this might sound complex, but in simpler terms, it means that the young, freshly formed stars are heating up the surrounding dust, causing it to glow. It's akin to how coals in a fireplace might glow red hot, radiating warmth. But wait, there's more. As your eyes scan the expanse of NGC 1792, you might notice other tiny specks. These aren't mere imperfections on the canvas. They're background galaxies, each with its own tail in the grand cosmic tapestry. In essence, NGC 1792 is like a bustling artist workshop. It's not neat or predictable, but it's filled with passion, creation, and a radiant glow. What might this galaxy look like a few million years from now? How many more stars will it birth, and what tales will they tell? NGC 1792 is a testament to the universe's never-ending cycle of creation and change, beckoning us to keep watching and wondering. Image number seven, NGC 4565, the celestial needle in Berenice's hair. Gaze into the vastness of space, and you might just catch a glimpse of NGC 4565, a remarkable spiral galaxy that's acquired the nickname the Needle Galaxy. But what's in a name? Well, its elongated appearance might remind you of a slender sewing needle delicately threaded through the cosmic fabric. Let's journey back to 1785. The skies held secrets yet to be unraveled. And it was during this time that Sir William Herschel, the same mind that introduced us to Uranus, stumbled upon this celestial wonder. Nestled in the constellation Coma Berenices, which translates to Berenice's hair, NGC 4565 remains an iconic example of an edge-on spiral galaxy. Picture this a brilliant yellow core radiating like a precious gem, flanked by intricate dust lanes, as though meticulously painted by nature's hand. This central bulge, so radiant and pronounced, leaps out, making it a spectacle to behold. Now, let's get a sense of its place in the cosmic scale. While 30 million light years might seem like an unfathomable distance, in the grand scope of our universe, it's relatively close quarters. Think of the Andromeda galaxy, our nearest sizable neighbor, 
NGC 4565 is only 12 times farther than Andromeda. Yet its grandeur is such that even the 4S instrument, which provides us with a view of about 7x7 arc minutes, finds it challenging to capture NGC 4565 in its entirety. Size-wise, it's a colossus, overshadowing even our own Milky Way by about a third. Ponder that for a moment. How would our night skies look if we were to call NGC 4565 home? What mysteries lie within its expansive dust lanes and radiant core? In the ever-expanding storybook of the universe, NGC 4565 stands as a testament to the wonders that await discovery and the untold stories of galaxies that have been and those yet to be found. Next time you look up, think of the Needle Galaxy and marvel at the intricate tapestry of our universe. Image number eight, journeying through the Milky Way, unveiling Crux and Carina. Picture a serene night sky untouched by city lights. At its center, a luminous river of stars stretches across the vast expanse, our very own Milky Way. As you follow this glowing pathway, two constellations emerge, each with its own unique tales and patterns, Crux and Carina. Crux, often referred to as the Southern Cross, is easily distinguishable due to its cross-like shape. Have you ever wondered why sailors from bygone eras treasured it? Well, for navigators in the Southern Hemisphere, Crux was a reliable guide, always pointing south. Its compact and distinctive design made it a beacon in the night, steering many safely across the oceans. Adjacent to Crux is the lesser-known but equally captivating Carina constellation. Originally a part of the much larger constellation known as Argo Navis, the ship of the Argonauts, Carina embodies the ship's keel. It's like a celestial nod to seafaring adventures and age-old legends of heroes and mythical beasts. But the Milky Way isn't just a passive backdrop to these constellations. It's a dynamic galaxy, home to billions of stars, planets, and mysteries yet to be unraveled. When we speak of the Milky Way in terms of sky phenomena, we're referring to that visible band of light composed of distant stars, some of which are parts of constellations like Crux and Carina. Have you ever tried to connect the dots forming your own patterns among the stars? Or wondered about the ancient stories and cultures that looked up and saw these same celestial landmarks? The night sky is a tapestry of tales waiting to be told and retold. So the next time you find yourself under a clear sky, let the shimmering pathway of the Milky Way guide you. Seek out the Southern Cross and the keel of the Grand Ship. Remember, each star and constellation holds a story, a part of the universe's grand narrative. What tales will you discover tonight? Image number 9, Dancing with Heat, AB7, the star that defies convention. Welcome to the celestial theater where the main spotlight falls on AB7, intriguingly situated within the Magellanic Clouds. If you've never heard of the Magellanic Clouds, think of them as two accompanying galaxies gracefully waltzing around our very own Milky Way. Now, what makes AB7 such a headline act? It's a binary star which means it's essentially a dynamic duo, one star being a WR star, which is like the seasoned veteran of massive stars, while its partner is a middle-aged heavyweight, often referred to by astronomers as of spectral type O. Imagine two stellar performers dancing in sync, with AB7 stealing the limelight with its scorching personality. Ever heard of the gentle solar wind from our sun, 
a stream of charged particles flowing outwards. Now magnify that wind's intensity by an astonishing 10 to 1,000 million times, and you'd come close to understanding the sheer force of AB7's stellar winds. It's like comparing a gentle breeze to the most powerful tornado. These mighty winds don't just whisper, they shout, sculpting the surrounding space material into captivating bubbles. When captured in images, these bubbles glow with an ethereal blue hue, painting a vivid tapestry against the vastness of space. Yet there's more to AB7 than just its winds. This star wears its crown for being extraordinarily hot, perhaps even the hottest WR star we've discovered. A temperature soaring over 120,000 degrees? It's as if this star swallowed a piece of the sun. But wait, there's a surprise element. Outside the scorching embrace of AB7's nebula, there's a delicate pattern of green tendrils. What could they be? They're the ghostly remnants of a past supernova explosion, like the silent whispers of a star that once was. Delving a bit deeper, AB7, also known by its formal title LHA 115N76A, resides approximately 180,000 light-years from us, tucked away in the constellation Tucana. It's a reminder of the vast and varied wonders the universe holds. So, the next time you gaze at the stars, ponder this. In the vast auditorium of space, where countless stars play their parts, doesn't the story of a fiercely hot star dancing with its partner and shaping its surroundings captivate your imagination? Image number 10, the Tarantula's Tapestry, unraveling the threads of 30 Doratus. The vast canvas of our universe never fails to unveil moments of breathtaking wonder. Enter the Tarantula Nebula, also fondly named 30 Doratus, a stellar spectacle captured with impeccable precision by the Webb Telescope. Have you ever seen the delicate threads and patterns on a spider's web? The Tarantula Nebula, in many ways, mirrors such intricacies, but on an immensely grander scale. Nestled at the heart of this stellar masterpiece lies R136, a prominent cluster gleaming with stars. Some of these stars rank among the universe's most heavyweight champions, holding titles for their immense size and brilliance. It's like finding the most radiant diamonds in the midst of a vast, glittering treasure chest. Yet, the grandeur doesn't end there. The Webb Telescope's ambitious endeavor aims to chart a colossal region spanning an area on the sky nearly 1,000 times the breadth of our full moon. What's the mission? To meticulously observe not just the Tarantula Nebula, but also its cosmic neighbors, the Large and Small Magellanic Clouds, or LMC and SMC for short. Think of these as the close cousins of our Milky Way, each with its unique tales and secrets. But what colors paint this celestial portrait? The image of 30 Doratus was meticulously crafted using filters that capture near-infrared wavelengths. The exposure times were methodically set, 40 minutes for blue, 47 for green, and a generous 81 minutes for red. This intricate dance of filters and timings helps us see a region measuring about 52 by 70 arc minutes on the sky. Situated approximately 170,000 light-years from us, this grand nebula is housed within the constellation Dorito, a celestial patchwork known for its stellar allure. Reflecting on this magnificent expanse, isn't it intriguing to consider how the universe crafts such elaborate wonders? In the vast auditorium of the cosmos, the Tarantula Nebula stands as a testament to the timeless art of star formation and the intricate geometries that space weaves. What other secrets might this celestial spider be hiding in its web? Only time and exploration will tell.
Image number 11. The Enigmatic Spiral. Helix Nebula's Tales Journey With Me. 700 light years from our home. To a celestial wonder named the Helix Nebula. Cataloged as NGC 7293. Situated within the constellation Aquarius. This nebula isn't just any ordinary cosmic cloud, but a planetary nebula. But wait, what's a planetary nebula? Despite its name, it has little to do with planets. Instead, it's a shell of gas and dust shed by dying stars in their final stages. Think of it as a cosmic butterfly emerging from its cocoon. So what makes the Helix Nebula stand out? Captured images through infrared filters present it in a new light, painting a more vivid and detailed picture. This technology allows us to pierce through the common views we see, revealing aspects previously hidden from our sight. It's like having a secret lens that unveils mysteries hidden in plain sight. One of the most intriguing revelations is the presence of strands of cold nebular gas. Under normal visual spectrums, these strands play a cosmic game of hide-and-seek, but with the power of infrared, they emerge, winding their way through the nebula like delicate threads in a tapestry. But the Helix Nebula isn't alone in this space tableau. Beyond its glowing boundary, a sea of stars and distant galaxies form a mesmerizing backdrop, reminding us of the vast community of celestial bodies that inhabit our universe. Isn't it fascinating to think about how much remains concealed, just waiting for the right tools and perspectives to bring them into view? What other wonders does the Helix Nebula keep within its spiraling arms? As we continue to gaze into the depths of space, what other stories await our discovery? The universe, with its wonders like the Helix Nebula in Aquarius, beckons us to keep exploring and questioning. As our cosmic journey draws to a close, we're left in awe of the mysteries the James Webb Space Telescope has illuminated for us. From galaxies far beyond our reach to nebulous wonders, each revelation adds another layer to our understanding of the universe. But what are your thoughts? Were you captivated by the Helix Nebula or intrigued by the Tarantula Nebula's vastness? Share your reflections in the comments below. If you've enjoyed this voyage, Give this video a like, and don't forget to subscribe for more stellar adventures. And if you're hungry for another journey, click on the video on your screen now.